nearest votes is Catherine and Ella. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! I miss your face in the morning. Hey! <laughs> As in, <laughs> we will receive the fewest votes from the public. And wow! Also at risk of leaving the villa. Scott's gonna get one. Now he knows. Now they know. Wake it up, baby! Wake it up! Wake it up! Wake it up! Oh, I've been doing this for so many years, guys. I'm tired of the show. Release me from the shackles. Just say it. Couple with the fewest votes is. How many years am I going to review this godforsaken show? I'm sick of it. Come on. Hurry up, bro. Hurry up. Sing it. Oh, this is dramatic. Where are we going? To war. Are we going to war. I'm a model and championship dancer. I think the boys' heads are going to turn when they see a five foot two pocket rocket and confidence to match. I'm definitely going into the villa to find the love of my life. So if that means stealing your man, game on. She's gone, guys. Catherine's gone. She's gone home, guys. Don't cry, don't beg. Don't cry, don't beg. Sorry, Jackie, it's all over. Don't cry, don't beg. Catherine and Elon have been dumped from the island. Swiped out like that in the last eight minutes. Hey guys, that's Marab Marali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another review. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. I would appreciate it. Click that button and subscribe and let's get straight into this video. Head over to my Instagram as well. Now, for what reason did they have to leave that cliffhanger? It really irritated me because if you're gonna give us a second couple, bring it to us don't give us a cliffhanger for the second couple it's giving we don't have content anymore it's giving there's not much drama anymore it's giving shocking dumpings because we've got nothing else going on and that's the only way we can reel our audience in Catherine and elon being dumped i feel like what's going to happen anyways i feel like her behavior towards scott was unwarranted not needed you know and just plain rude at times and very insensitive is the theme and she will realize that now when she watches it back or sees what people say about it because Catherine was doing great on this show she was doing absolutely great then the stuff with Zach happened then she was safe with Andre Andre got dumped she was still safe then she you know was Scott if she stayed with Scott she probably would have been here even with Elon I think she still would have been here it was just her delivery on the way back to Scott that was unnecessary for Scott and Amber to not even be in a couple and they are not even voted in the least compatible now the villa knows that Scott is liked heavily because he's all been on these conflict people all think he's a game player yet he wasn't voted in the least compatible the islanders now know that he is liked in the villa and watch their attitude change towards him now the reason why mitch picked first before scott to find out who they wanted to pick the producers did that on purpose so that mitch can pick Abby and that Scott can pick Amber because the public know that they love Am um, Scott obviously producers know that the public love Scott obviously therefore they're going to tie Scott to Amber because they want to keep Amber in the competition because Amber's dad is famous and therefore you know the famous dad is, wants her daughter to be there for a while they've got meetings relationships probably with ITV and therefore they're going to try to keep her in for that long. Woo! That's my theory. I think that's why, you know, Scott had to pick last and therefore this keeps Amber safe in the competition and therefore allows her to probably choose somebody and she might choose the guy coming in to therefore prolong her time on the show. It's all about who you know in this life and it's all about connections. That's how you become successful and, you know, the majority of people, if you're, if you were born broke, 
and poor and in the ghetto like me, things are going to be twice as hard for us than for those who are born into money or just born into connections and know everything. And you know, it is what it is. It's just, whew, it is what it is. I don't know what to say about it. Catherine and Elon, they even had their own issues in the villa before they even get dumped. So let's get into that situation. Because prior to this eight minutes, that was the only part that was really giving. Um, I can see why Catherine is upset because, you know, for Elon to say that, it comes out of nowhere. Things are going so well with us. Why would you randomly just say this? It doesn't make any sense. Everything was going smooth. You now say this. Do I have to back off? I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to give you this emotionless hug because I'm not invested in you right now after what you just said. It's a bit of a random thing for you to say because evidently there are two new people coming in. One of them is a new girl. Elon might get to know her if you were still there. It just would have been weird. It clearly maybe shows a doubt in Catherine's mind that, yeah, maybe I should have stayed with Scott because things were so good with me and Elon in casa and look what he's saying to me right before we get dumped so you know if he said to Catherine if a bombshell walks in I'm going to entertain it on the outside are you still going to entertain it if a girl wants to speak to you so you know it, they've left their, they've left at a bad time in my opinion because their relationship is not that strong for them to be strong on the outside for a longevity amount of time I would like that to be the case but you never know when it comes to these islanders and what's going to take place unfortunately now when it comes to Katie and her speech in the beginning she was doing it to be messy this is season 2 Katie and this is what I live for this is the Katie that I expected unnecessary drama but unfortunately nobody else is chiming in and reacting to it like Ella said the girl wants drama we're not reacting to it I want the girls to get into it with Katie. That is why that she is there. I want girl beef with Katie and another girl because that's what Katie likes to do. Beef, drama, emotional, unhinged, sensitive, and it made good TV back then. But of course, Molly is not reactive like that. Her and Zach just walked away and, you know, she said, thanks, babe, in a kind of like a passive aggressive way. Went back to Katie, sorted it out, no conflict. Those five, six sentences after what Katie said when they cheers was probably the only amount that I've heard from Molly since she came back into the damn show. I haven't heard anything else. I get it. That's who she is. She's not argumentative. But at the same time, it's like, I don't dislike the girl, but I just feel like, why are you here? Like, we're not getting anything from you. It's like Gemma 2.0. We're not getting any content. We haven't seen you for the past week. And, you know, there's no drama, nothing entertaining. There's just nothing, like, in any way. And I get it. She wants to be that girl with Zach, and they're going to be fine. And I, you know what? Zach and Molly have kind of warmed to me today, maybe because I haven't seen them for a while. The producers have done this so that we can warm to them in a different way. And I'm kind of getting that. But I just find like, if I look back at this entire season, um, for, you know, the month and a half that it's been on, I can't recall anything that she has done outside of being dumped sporadically through a, ch you know, a challenge, which doesn't count anymore now because the girl came back the next week. That is memorable to me. And, you know, these are the concerns. If you're going to get to the finale of a Love Island season, you need to do something that is memorable, in my opinion. Back in the day, we had... Chris, Kem, Amber, and Olivia Atwood, all four of them did things who were in the finale that I can recall still to this day. And that goes for season five as well. You know, there are, and there's just, you, there's just a lot of things that you can remember. Like Molly May hiding behind the plant was hilarious. Maura and her fanny flowers and etc. Anna and her two days. Like there's so many things I can still remember and I just feel like there's not much outside of Whitney. Um, I can't really recall much else from people and I just feel like... I don't know. I just feel like for someone like Molly to come back onto the show and everything, I really wanted her to really get into it with Katie and just that give, give me a minute of something and just be like, that was not needed. It was unnecessary. I know you want to try to do dramatics right now, but nobody asked for that. Like, what is your issue? What is your problem? And then walk away. That would have been cute. Just something. But the girl just gives us nothing. And that's just how she is. It is what it is. It is what it is, guys. They're back in the villa. They're doing great. And they're definitely going to be in that finale. And you know what, guys? I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. This is how the show works now. There's so many producer plants on this season. And that's what it's all about. Molly, Marsh, you got Katie, you got Amber. It's the season of the producer plants. And, like, they're growing up a whole damn forest out here, child. Like, it's just frustrating. Who else got dumped? Don't leave us on a hanger. I feel like the shock value that this season has given us is just people being dumped randomly. I think that is the only shock factor and I just feel like we need to come up with something else, producers. We need to come up with other stuff that can shock us and I feel like it doesn't always just have to be a random shock dumping and Molly didn't count because she came back and of course, you know, there's a second couple being dumped now. Who are they going to be? Who is it out of the three? It might be Katie and Uzi because, you know, um, we don't, they are the freshest couple. Um, Leah Montel, I doubt it. Um, who else is up there? It might also be Sammy and Jess, actually. I think it might be because of the way Sammy's been dealing with everything, X, Y, Z. Nobody's invested in that. So, you know, the couple just seems hopeless to me. I don't see it working on the outside. So I think they will definitely be dumped. 
Catherine being dumb like that? I am shocked, sorry. It just happened so quickly. I feel like she was an OG, she was there from the beginning. She's had such a journey. It would have been nice for them to kind of prolong her goodbyes, you know, and her... Just, I, I wanted to see a little bit more and I feel like it was only given to us within two minutes and the girl was gone. She literally was walking with her bags. She's now outside the villa. So, oh, but you know, she did it to herself in my opinion. I just feel like the way she treated Scott on, the, on return was not good for her. She was blind to how she was acting and it only acted and worked against her, unfortunately. Had she not done that, I think she probably would have still been in the villa. I definitely think so. The two new bombshells, they are there. What they're gonna do, I really don't know. I think at this point, coming in way too late, doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe the guy can go for Amber. I can't speak for the girl, I'm not sure who she's gonna go for, but you know, it is what it is. So, you know, two new bombshells and we'll just see what they do. I just feel like, post Casa, Casa was, Casa was good, then anticlimactic the next day. Movie night, great then anticlimactic the next day and since then as well we have not really seen anything outside of sammy vs jess round 8500 there's not really much else that's gone on and i feel like if the only drama they can give us or entertainment they can give us now is just the shot dumpings like we want to see more twists just different twists that you know that, that we want to see it doesn't it's not everyday shot dumping um but yeah, I just feel like the last five minutes were good. Yet again, like yesterday, you could have kept the whole episode. The last five minutes were good. Everything else, I wasn't really in tuned to see, really. And, you know, this isn't even the stage where Love Island gets boring. That's the last week. So if this is what is given now, what the hell is it going to be given in the last two weeks? Not even Love Island Winter. It's going to be giving us Love Island Autumn. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Head over to my Instagram at Murat underscore Murali. And head over to my TikTok. Comment down below. Sound off. Are you here or not here for Catherine going? Um... I feel like I should just create my own community somewhere online for us to talk about Love Island and reality TV. Like, I'm thinking of doing that, guys. So shout out um, um, if you guys are here for it. Um, do let me know what your thoughts are. And I also obviously want to do a viewing party for this finale um, series as well. I think it'll be really good just to do it and just to see Whitney win, child. So we all, all of us seeing Whitney take the crown. Like, Ekin Sue and Davide last year, Whitney, Whitney just... I want Whitney to hold the cup. I know it's not football, but I want her to hold the cup and just be cheering, confetti, and then everybody comes behind her and runs onto the pitch and hugs her. And then she's smiling. Then we pan to the big LED screen TV. Her mum's there. Her mum is crying as well. It's just joyous. It's just... She's won. And then she comes off the show. She wins the show. And then, you know, she announces that she's got her own ITV spin-off called It's Giving. And she goes around, talks about if something is giving or not giving, whether it be fashion, whether it be doing other tasks, or whether it be food or something. She can just do her own thing. Whitney, I think, can be great outside of post when she wins the show, which she's going to do, and get management because she doesn't need a partner to hold herself. She can hold her own because of her personality, similar to Mora. Mora doesn't need to be in a couple to be a great social media individual with a good career with longevity. Because of how iconic Mora was on her own, due to her own personality, Whitney is very similar in that respect in, in that respect to me. She doesn't need her man to be with her to have a strong career. She can do it on her own. So I can't wait for when she holds the cup and she's just and she's like she's like hold up and she goes, I can't wait for that. Anyways, I'm talking nonsense. Subscribe, click that button and I'll catch you and I'm talking sense. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon.